Welcome back, our groovy tubers. We just spent last night on Irish ferries, shower out to Dublin. So if you think of it coming over to France by car or by human, we're going to make it nice and smooth for you. So something we didn't realise is that you can actually go directly from Dublin to France. And there's no stress with it. So we're going to make this video really, really easy for you and we're going to make it all in different chapters. So you can just click on whatever chapter you want. Okay, so we're going to kick this video off with how you'll actually book ferry. Go on to irishferries.ie and select your destination. Pop in all your details and if you're a camper van, car or just a passenger. Alright, so a big part about booking this ferry is going to be the pricing as well. Watch the dates, some are more expensive than others. You can choose economy or flexi. With the flexi option, you can cancel without a penalty. Here's all your accommodation options. You can choose a cabin or reserve a seat. Fill in all your details and make the payment by card. You should get an email with all the confirmation details and you're off. Follow the signs and you get your check-in ticket. On your boarding card, it'll tell you your room number and what floor you're on. Boarding card, it actually is your room key, so no need to check in. So it's actually surprised how nicely finished it is. It's really, really, really modern. So the food looks amazing. They have all different types of selections. They have stuff for vegans and salads. So we actually packed our own little bag here. So we filled up our cooler bag. And then we brought it just up with us. And we just edit in the room, no stress. Now there is an option to get a few snackos and wine if you're feeling fancy. You can see I have the prices up here. It's a little bit expensive, but if you're treating yourself, you can. One of the biggest choices is going to be if you're going to book a sleeping cabin. So we got into our cabin and it is beautiful, really modern, like and there's mirrors and bathroom and you have a TV. Oh, there's nothing. Now we went for the option with no windows, but them curtains are great, it creates like illusion that there is a window there, but we just have to closing them. So it's beautiful. The beds are nice and comfortable too. You get a towel as well included. So happy days, like I do recommend getting it. Or if you're just gonna cheap out, get a sleeping chair. All right, so here's your sleeping chairs. They're actually quite comfortable. Not as comfortable as the room, obviously, but if you're on a budget, perfect. I actually can't get bored on this ferry either, there's so many facilities. So you can get your few bits, you can get little prezzies or whatever, they have perfume, makeup, your little earphones, snacks and of course alcohol. There's loads of selection. They had a kids shop as well with Lego and colouring books and also like a play area so there's no chance of them getting bored. And they had a cinema which was really cool, all the prices are there. They even had a microwave to heat up baby food, which I thought was a really nice touch. And charging points too. And we've been treated like kings on this ferry. And queens. Everybody's been so nice. It was roughly an 18 and a half hour journey. We really, really enjoyed it. And we're so happy to be home. If you enjoyed this video, Give us an L away. And a subscribe. We hope to bring more to you. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Peace out. Peace. <laughs>